All right, you guys, here we are, Shin Megami Tensei 5, Vengeance, and we are continuing onward and upward as we kind of did last time. This time, I believe, we are headed kind of toward the Kadishtu, and by kind of toward the Kadishtu, I do mean we were beckoned to go deal with the Kadishtu, so we're going directly to the Kadishtu. Direct is in quotes because my ability to find things is anything but direct. I'm direct when I flirt. I'll tell you what, I'm a direct ass dude. I was going to say bitch, but I was like, I can't say bitch in the first minute. But after I caught that, I realized I already said ass and it was too late. <laughs> I put cock and balls in the title of one of my videos that went up the other day. It got zero views for the first few hours. Zero. And I said, damn, you really just can't be crude these days. They hate to see a, a hot man be crude. So I apologize. For, I told y'all we're not going direct nowhere. Um... They hate to see man be crude. We got soup in a can. That's kind of like crude food if you think about it. Like borderline, uh, like industrial, like food and like a bullet. Cause a can's just kind of a bullet. Do you ever think about how Campbell's tomato soup is just a weapon? If you haven't thought about that, then your eyes are not open. Wake up, sheeple. How y'all doing though? It is currently a Wednesday night for me. I think it's about 8 o'clock. 7.56 p.m. We... Kinda just chilling tonight, nothing too special. I was gonna record yesterday, didn't. I got super high and just sat and watched the debate. And I hate that I said that because I don't want y'all to think I give a single about politics. I do not pay attention. But I do find it kind of satisfying to see like an intelligent person speak. Um, and luckily we had one of those at the debate, but enough on that. What's over here? I see a side quest. Perish? What's he finding? You leave them alone. But let's save. Should trouble be awaiting, awaiting us around this corner? Okay, we'll talk to you in a minute, but I want to talk to your disciples here. Y'all got a whole temple. It's kind of nice. Rakshasha, what's good? You should see my blade whirling in combat. That's a dance all its own. Even the celestial maidens dancing can't beat my sword's plays art. Sword plays art. Now, what am I cutting next? Daikon radishes, onions. You little chef. And you? It's been a long time since I last danced. Still, you never really forget, do you? Even the great sun smiles when she sees us dance. I'm sure you're looking forward to the performance too, hmm? Oh, are they competing with one another for entertainment? He, like, cooks with a knife? She dances, and he is silly. What's going on? Is there going to be a show here? Is it starting soon? Ooh, fun times. Let me join in, too. All right, now you, Mr. Fucking Crazy Outfit, I know you're going to perform. You're fruity ass. Can you tell me what's going on here? Oh, are you a traveler? Ooh, the tea is hot. Hot tea is hot. I confess I'm new to these parts myself. Are you familiar with this place? Apparently it used to be a popular shrine, host to all manner of festivals and staged plays. People once did while Oban dances here, reveling until dawn. Yes, dancing not just with their bodies, but their very hearts, no? And that's what we really need in these times of turmoil. A source of joy, a spark of excitement. I am macabre. And this is what I believe. Thus, I would like to make this a place of celebration, a hub for Shinjuku, where all manner of demons dance together. Fortunately, I found some able dancers, but there's still one crucial element missing. He's quite big. Look at me, like, next to his feet. I'm quite small. Except for I'm not. I'm a normal-sized boy, I think. So why is he so big? A worthy lead for my stage. One with potential to be a true superstar. Who could stir the hearts of an audience of demons? Yes, you hear correctly. I want nothing less than a true. I don't you even try to put me in on this. Would you be interested in helping me scout? I'll, I'll scout the idol. I can do that. Oh, my video froze. Did my eye? Did the camera fucking die? You're kidding me. Did the camera die? Give me a second here. All right, we are playing without face cam today because the iPhone I use, which is constantly plugged in, has died because I forgot it's plugged into the monitor. So when the monitor turns off, it stops charging, and I guess it died on its own. 
we gotta go find it. a star is born. The other day I told my friend Danny, who's quite a petite young gay, I told him this is your star is born moment. He said, this is my twink is dead moment. And I said, ooh, the kids are obsessed with youth these days. I don't know who told them about mortality, but like this obsession with youth, ha youth has got to go. The idea of twink death, can we do better as a fucking community? Oh, splendid. Truth be told, I already have just the demon in mind. You see, there's a demon who the humans have been rather fascinated with lately. His name is... Oh, her name is Amabi. Do y'all remember Amabi? I'm not even gonna tell you who that is. If you know who Amabi is, get fucking hype. And if you don't know, still get hype. My chair's squeaking a lot today. I don't know what to tell you. You're gonna have to get into it. Um, because squeak is as squeak does. Like a mouse, like a rat. The mouse with the cock and balls. That's the video title that I think, like, YouTube did not like. Amabi. According to the mortals, she's got an unforgettable look. If you happen to spot her on your travels, do invite her over here, would you? Now, last time we saw Amabi, she was at Jojaji Shrine. <laughs> Correct? Do you think it's safe to assume she's still there? Should we go do that before we go to the Kadishtu, or should we actually do what we came here to do? I'm gonna let y'all think about that that one while they run around in circles and we will reconvene in a moment you'll tell me if i should go find amabi or if i should continue forward like i said i would and like the game expects me to do the thing is i won't forget about main quest because i have to do it i will forget about side quest because i have adhd so we're gonna go talk to this guy over here and a girl and then we're gonna go do the amabi quest because I love her, and I hope she gets a chance to shine. I don't know why, but this area has many large buildings and winding roads. I'm not even sure how to reach that large building to the west. I imagine there was some sort of fortress here to deter invaders. I don't know what you're talking about. What's good? Lifestone. Alright, we're gonna go deal with Amabi. Also, I see something flying over here. Something big. And wing it. Oh my god! Is it gonna like hunt me? Very scary. Okay, well we would watch out for that in the future. Let me grab this and then I promise we'll go do Amabi. Sorry. Grimoire, hey. Okay. I'm so sorry that there's no face cam. I feel like most people probably don't care, but I know I don't really watch videos other than Swimming Board 941 that don't have face cam. So I'm like, damn, am I losing all the girls? So, but the thing is, I don't have none of the girls, so I can't lose what you don't have. We're going to go Layla and Crossing, and we're going to go Tokyo, and then we're going to go to my dorm room. Actually, we're going to go Medical Research Lab. And then I'm heading out. I'm going to find a star. Her name is Amabi, and I need to see... Uh... Is she at D Joseph E F G? You know what I'm talking about? Joseph G. I hope she's still here. I'ma be have I got a fucking I've got a gig for you. you should 10% please. I wish my camera was on. I'm sticking out my hand. 10% please. Alright, ma'am. She's so cool. What's wrong, babe? Oh, Cersea, is that the you? Bio, you know. <laughs> I forgot she goes pew. <laughs> you know, I have been having a mighty ponder, and I think it might be time to give up and go back to my hometown. Bitch, you're a star. Don't you even think like that. It seems like you may be the only human who will ever see me. I suppose my paltry glow light is. I love your glow light! Nothing against the big city glitz of Tokyo's neon. Tokyo's burning to the ground. Tokyo's crumbling, are you? No. Your star is rising. Tokyo's into the dirt. Tokyo's nothing next to you, Amabi. So I told her about Macabre and Shinjuku. These are two divas. They're gonna queen out together. What? There is another Tokyo? And you say I already have a big old grandstand of fans waiting for me there? Well, an idol can't keep her fans waiting, can she? Thanks much for coming to tell me all this. I'm off to Shinjuku. I'm so excited she gets to shine. 
Okay, back to Macabre. A star is born can be completed. A star is born. I'm off the deep end. Watch as I dive in. I'll never meet the ground. I didn't mean to do that. I want to go back. Man, how do I get the fuck? The ground. Crash through the surface. Where they can't hurt us. Off in the shallow now. Sorry. I get like really stuck on songs and I like have to sing them and it's like stop doing that. It's like I I understand it's one of my biggest character flaws in these videos. And I like cannot stop. I cannot stop swearing in the first minute. I cannot stop making crude titles and I cannot stop singing. So I will never never reach the heights of my monkey video that got 2.1 thousand views ever again. But you know what? It was fun while it lasted. Some people didn't like me and some people did. And that was pretty cool for like a week. So we were chilling. On on Yonk Pun just like added himself like to my party directly. Yo, I didn't build him at all. I remember we made him and I said, I'm gonna build him. I haven't built him. Um, so for now, Sakona Hikona is gonna go back in his spot. But Anansi will be back. Um, what are we doing? Now we're going. Dum 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 dum. Do, 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 do. Let me set a marker because if I don't, I'll get lost. I'm absolute ass at directions. We've been over this a hundred times. In every playthrough of mine, I mentioned being ass at directions. Also, speaking of playthroughs, I should be playing Persona 3 Reload DLC right now because it is what? 9 11. Happy 9 11, everybody! I saw the coolest picture of Hatsune Miku today. She was dressed up like the ten tow Twin Towers. It was really cool. It was really slay. Hatsune Miku 9 11. So, get into that. Um, people did lose lives that, you know, I'm not like making light of that, but also like I am making light of the absolute fucking clowns who like won't shut up about 9 11. Never forget. How about look at the world? We had one day of that in the past 25 years. There are countries that we do that to <laughs> often. <laughs> so like, mm. <laughs> but we don't need to think too much on that now, do we? Um, I know I don't want to read everything, but I do want to like, I need to know what's happening here. Listen to the song. Jaunty. What a joy. La 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 la. Dance with the water flow with the stream. Yep. Hee hee hee. Festivals are so fun. This is such a blast. I can't stop smiling. Do you have a mouth? Huh? You can't tell? <laughs> I can't remember the last time I had this much fun. It reminds me of long ago when the gods gathered to sing and dance. <laughs> My arms are itching to get swinging. How about you, kid? You need a haircut? I do kind of need a haircut. It's getting a little, like, it's touching the ground. It gets tangled up in my feet. My tootsies are tangled. Are you guys all one speech bubble? That's kind of cool. Brother, my brother. Oh, look at little Amabi. She's so cute. I've never seen such a funny dance before. Is this one of them foreign dances? Oh, they mean well. They're talking like King of the Hill characters. Amabi. Oh, hello. I got here no problem, thanks to you. Look, she's kicking, she's swinging, she's swaying in the breeze. I can't tell you how it feels to be here with all my fans smiling and happy. Well, I can't afford to slack off now. Here I go. Yeah, woo. <laughs> Dance it out. Come on, every- She's speaking for herself. Macabre, I gave you a show and a half with the I'm gonna be. I'm gonna need 10% from you as well, finder's fee. I'm making my money down here. Oh, so you guided Amabi to this shrine. She's everything I thought she'd be, yet she truly shines on stage. A glow that radiates from her very heart. Also, from the little antenna thing, yes? The guests are ecstatic, of course, and she's delighted to gain some new fans herself. Why, I'd call this a win-win situation, wouldn't you? 10%, please. It wouldn't have happened without your efforts. Allow me to show you my appreciation. 
What do I get? Charm gem. Ten of those fuckers. Damn. Okay. We're going to be charming the netherworld. To seek a new and better world is a fine approach, yet we cannot neglect to enrich the lives we live here and now. Dancers and watchers, we demons all play our parts, bound in performance. Good, right? That's one of mine. <laughs> you're welcome to come back and join us whenever you're feeling up to it. Honestly, I might. It's like, this is a pocket of light in a kind of grim netherworld. <laughs> Just like her little voice lines. I love her. Okay, we do have to go. Why well, I should finish my talking to him. Get rid of that speech bubble. Oh, he speaks French. Don't send them. Okay, um, we need to go... Unfortunately, find the Kadish too. Which is kind of the opposite of watching Ama B dance. They are... A people... Surrounded by death. And gloom. In despair, even, if Monokuma were to be asked to use a word. But with that said, and as I said kind of at the end of the last video, I don't know if I hate the Kadish do yet. They've done terrible things. But I think I might be, like, kind of aligned with them. I don't know. We'll have to see. I also feel aligned with Yakumo, and he's not aligned with them. But those two are similar enough as well, aren't they? Hello, buddy. North this parking structure is movie theater. Over 50 year old. When last time you went to movie theater? I went the other day to see, I told you about this, Alien Romulus. And I had a blast. Y'all should go to the theater. I hate movies, but you know what? The theater is pretty fun stuff. Whatever is screaming overhead, it's gonna need to be quiet. I'm not feeling it. Silence. My two friends that I used to spend like three to five days a week with that both lived in my house at one point a little bit um they've left right because they're going to spain i've told you about this and they both mess message me like love you so much oh, god that thing's gonna get me that thing's gonna get me they're like love you so much thank you for letting us stay da, 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 da. like and i haven't responded and i don't hate them like i'll maybe get to it but it's also like what's the sentiment for like what are we doing here where am I trying to go? Well, I'm just on roofs. City rooftops. Busy rooftops. On zoo. I- oh, fucking shit. Shit, fuck. Damn it. Okay, yeah. Knew that was gonna happen. Oh, big worm, hey! Are either of them, like, new to me? Like, have I fused the worm? I probably have. Should I escape? Let's, like, go where we need to go. Let's stop fucking around! Okay, I've got to, like, jump off this building. Kill yourself. Let me do it like this, actually. Let's be smarter. I promise we'll get to the Kadish today. I s well, we'll get to the, the point marked on the map that I'm being told is where the Kadish are. If they're faking me out and it's not the Kadish that is what it is. But I'm going to get to that point on the map today, I swear to God. Um, That thing looks mean. I mean, I have to go past him. It is what it is. Oh, he's after me. It's glowing on the map. This is the- oh, it's okay, stop going. So it. Yippee, it's a full moon. We got street signs, we got these guys, yeesh! Ah, damn. I truly must be on my way. But it was nice seeing you. And thank you every time I run into a wild encounter. Yeah, I'm reminded how cheaply I'm playing this game by running from everything. And leveling up with Mitama. Ooh. What was my plan with this? Damn, brother, get up there. One second, I've got to do some fucking Hollow Knight fucking Celeste ass platforming over here real quick. Okay. And what did I get from it? Absolutely nothing. Because the things I need are actually in 
the building. And I still cannot get. Can I like fall into? Yes, bitch. I wanna run. Run. Mash into. Can I? Yes, thank you. Fire gym. Something wants me dead. Whenever I hear a demon growl, I like feel deeply, immensely scared. Um, hi guys. Where am I going? Ooh, there's an abscess down here and another one up there. Will y'all yell at me if I go do the abscess? I bet I can win in my first go at it. I also bet I'm wrong, so let me save. We'll get there. I swear to God we'll get there, but you can't, like, you know, just, like, walk past the splendors and not indulge the sp- whoop, whoop, Ooh! Ooh! Mean. Not a nice leopard. I wonder if he has good hearing. Or if he's a deaf leopard. I don't know. Okay, let's try this. Now... Oh, two mad gassers. These guys are fucking nuts. I don't know if y'all saw my playthrough of Soul Hackers 2. I know you didn't. It's actually pretty decent. I think I might like it better than this one so far. Like, the playthrough that I recorded. I like this game more than that. But I also did really like that game. Um, what am I looking at? Smoke balls. Mad gasser was an absolute nutcase in that game. One time he said that, like, what did he say to me? I wish I remembered. He's weak to light skills. Guess what, Anahita? Dish it out. Adish, you do not have a light skill. And you know what? That's okay. You just use light gym and call it a day. I bet we can do this. My controller clicks so loud if you hear it, like, I'm not sorry. It's cool. Listen to my cool Xbox controller. It's from the Xbox Design Lab. I made it custom. I paid full price for it, which is just regular contro controller price for the custom ones. But usually regular controllers you can find on sale. Obviously a custom one's not on sale because it's what? Custom. Now, what do I got for... Really? I don't have any light moves you'd think I would because I'm a fucking... Basically a god. Mm, I'm gonna go... With Ruinous Thunder. Very strong attack. Very lovely. I like the attack very much. I hear great things about it. <laughs> Ruinous Thunder. Oh, I hate a status effect. Oh, he got all of us. The Mad Gasser gassed us. Okay, we retaliated still. Okay, I do have to waste my turn on an item. Um, it's not a waste, you know. Now I need a Marita shower. A Marita shower. Thank you. I'm running low on Amrita shower. Keto Cruz. Anahita, do what you do best. Addis, you're not good at light moves. Do I happen to have a light gem? Not a fucking chance. Behold the power of the Kuni. So Kono Ikono really didn't get enough time on the team. And I'm gonna bring in Anansi. Am I gonna replace Addis? I really like Addis' design and who he is so much, though. It really is tough, and Anahita, like, we need a girl on the team, you know what I mean? We need somebody with half a fucking brain. <laughs> no offense to anybody else, but, like, get real. Um, so I don't know. That really breaks my heart. Where's the, like, uh, the miracle to add a fifth person to the party? That'd be great. Except for that would be overwhelming. I get it. Leave him alone, he's tiny. Okay. Man, that tea is so good. I think I'm thirsty, so the tea's really, really, really hidden. Um... And it's at that perfect temperature for autumnal sipping, where it's very hot, but not so hot that, like, you can't take a decent-sized gulp. What am I doing? Critical. You ready? Ready? No... Heavy Almighty to all. You know what? Go crazy with it. Just because it hits both. You know, what happened to him? I didn't catch him doing that, but that's real fucked up. 
Adjaleo. Rest in peace, Madgasser number one, Madgasser number two. Hello. Um, we're gonna take you with physical attacks. And luckily, we've got some decent ones on the team. Watch this. I got this crazy one, Aramasa. They're weak, but there's eight of them. It's like eight babies. Overwhelming. If I do say so myself. She's just got this, which is not, not great. Angelina. Is he gonna cast us? No. He did this again. It's not the worst thing, it just like makes this take a minute. Oh, we're not getting a lot of turns though, because we're not hitting weaknesses and or criticals. Somebody get a critical, I dare you. Period, Addis. And I think Sakono Hokono might as well, because this has a high chance of landing critical hits. All right, two extra turns. One more Aramasa, which gave us another critical, but that doesn't matter. Is he gonna gas us again? Yup. Let's get gassing. Can he be hit by light attacks? And like elements now? Yeah, okay, cool. I can buy Emery to shower from Gustav, right? I'm not like burning through an item that's hard to get hold of, am I? That'd be a nightmare. I think we've got this, right? Rest in peace. Okay, we did the abscess. Now there's another one on the way to the Kadish too. Should we do that one too? Who texted me? One second. Julian. Julian, Julian, Julian. I don't want I don't want to talk too much about the people in my life because I know you don't care and also it's like their business, not yours, but Julian, Julian, Julian is all I have to say right now. What a beautiful person. What a quirky, interesting person. It almost feels like patronizing, or like condescending to say like, you worry about somebody, you know what I mean? Because it implies that like, you know better than them and you can see bad things around them that maybe they're not aware of. You know what, I'll trust this, go ahead. Oh, this is a whole... Wagatsu rail. Chill. But... Oh, Julian. What is a lavish demon box? Is it just a sellable item? Because I've gotten quite a few of them at this point. Okay, now off to... Where? Let's go... This way and around. Y'all gotta not, like, gang up on me in tiny spaces. I don't like it. It's not nice, it's not fair. Was let me get this real quick, Coco, if you don't mind. Not to be rude, just you know these are important to grab. Also, let me heal up. I did just do a abscess. All right, Coco, that's good. Goku always like knows what's up. He always like lets me know like we saw this and this is going to happen. Listen well. With the creator now gone, any human in possession of knowledge can become a Nahabino. Such is the great potential bestowed upon humanity. You too will surely realize your potential and forge a legacy all your own. However, the Kadish do aim to rid humanity of this built budding potential. Oh, maybe I don't agree with them then. I'm all for the myriad gods. Such haphazard violence cannot be allowed to continue. Yes. You must vanquish those vile demons and protect the order of this world. Fuck the order of the world? Maybe, I don't know, I don't fully understand the world. But, what the fuck the Kadish do if they're not for the myriad gods? The myriad gods, kind of my judge. This song's going really fucking hard too, huh?
This song's kind of giving Danganronpa, not to reference that game again today. Or that series, I suppose. Never played one. I liked uh, Master Detective Archive Raincoat, didn't finish it, still actively playing it, but really enjoying it. It's made by the same people, same team. Spike Chunsoft loves to publish a quirky game. I the song. Hello. It's the mouse with the cock and balls. Well, what do we have here? That's not a face I know. And I'm sensing a fair bit of divinity from you. How interesting, especially for such a lot young lad. I'm Sinri. I'm Sinri. A poor mountain cat with cock mountain cat with cock and balls. Mind hearing me out for a while? Someone with the kind of divinity you've got. There aren't many now, but there are quite a few back in the day. The demon flying over Shinjuku's third block is one of what? A Nahabino? That was a Nahabino? No, no fucking way. That's right. He's the raptor known as Guverlu. He used to be a renowned bird god, but human knowledge has reduced him to a demon. Human knowledge doesn't reduce you to a demon. Long ago, God used his power to ensure his own divinity and undermine any rival gods. However, knowledge eventually fell into the hands of humans who were then able to change God's divinity themselves. Wow. For when the knowledge of many humans is united, it begets a power called faith. Jot that down. But I digress. So, Gurulu is condemned from divinity to, to, brav to depravity and has now turned his spite towards the people. Gurulu is powerful relative to other demons, mind you. But with your divinity, I suspect you'd be able to, be to defeat him. So how about it? Think you can take down Gurulu? There are a lot of demons in Shinjuku Gion that wish they could live in peace. I'll even sweeten the deal with a reward. Well, would you like to give it a try? May at some point probably. Um not now, I have things to do. And also I fear that'll be a harder fight than I'm ready for. I can we get this other abscess? The answer is yes. If you said yes, ding 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 ding. Ooh. I forget his name. But that guy over there, that star guy, he's like kind of spooky, but he's grown on me. I do like him. He looks like he'd do magic tricks in Vegas. What is his name? I forget. It's like Anwar or something. Kaiwan, close enough. <laughs> Let's escape. Ooh, 65 is rough. Damn! Right before I go to the ley line, too, I'm gonna use the fucking Trafuri gym. Oh, this is bad news, bears. All right, Italian, hey. All right, all right, all right. Enough. Seventy-five percent. I'm gonna just do it. Okay. Get one of these, and hope for the best. See if we can get two of these in a row without dying. We've got two Yuckos and a mildly, like, unappealing guy. Alright. Um, I don't know what y'all are weak to. And I'm just gonna find out, like, this. No, that's not smart. That's <laughs> not smart. Okay. f Floros. I'm gonna be honest with you, Floros, like, really bothers me. He's just, like, not natural. So, ice. Use her to go ahead and hit people with ice, and hopefully nobody blocks it and fucks up my moves, but I bet somebody will, because that's how this sicko world we live in works. They're all weak to ice. That's actually crazy. But, works out for me. Because we have plenty of ice bitches. I think I might even have a nice skill. Nope, that's a lie. I got a little overzealous and thinking I was prepared for this. But I am prepared. But if you're accidentally prepared for something, are you prepared or are you just like able to handle it? I don't know. Because to me, preparation is a mindful, purposeful thing. Because you prepared. But we don't need to get into the semantics of the word prepared now, do we? Come on. 
them being weak to ice and using fire moves is like exactly what my team is built for right now, you fools. You fucking buffoons. Do you not know that this is how my team is built? Um... Eh, why not? Go fucking crazy. No, I'm gonna save my Magatsuhi for, um... The Kadishtu fight. Because that'll actually be hard. This is just, like, a little bit annoying based on how... Due to how long it's taken. Damn. Floros, your time has come. There's not gonna be a next attack, you... You're an idiot, and I should have known because you're built like that. And I don't want to be hateful, and I don't want to be mean, but I don't like that your head is in the center of your body. It, like, really upsets me, and I'm sorry. Alright, more miracles for me. Whoa, 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 Cybel. Wow. What's in Bolden? I need to build up my glory. I've got some small glory crystals I could redeem, but it's more of an off-camera thing as well. Oh, Kaiwan. Oh, we're near the Kadishtu thing. We have to save. The worst could happen. Also, I could stand to go to a ley line because I need to recover our MP we just burned through but did you know there's a human girl wandering around here apparently she's super strong because you really can't judge a book by its cover is that one of my teammates or is he talking about somebody else okay somebody else has a mission for me over here a little side quest can I climb up this of course not I'm just a silly lanky boy with long blue hair how do I get my ass in there? I love employment. Give me a job opportunity. Oh god, it's fucking Ludwig von Beethoven, the vampire freak. He's got like a Medea wig on. Hmm, are you perhaps looking to make a purchase? You must be looking for <clears throat> a certain product that may just increase your capabilities, yes? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Cudlack, that's Cowduck, <laughs> backwards, and I am more than happy to give, to give to those who ask. It would be my pleasure to offer my product to you, but there is one small problem. The vampire hunter Kresnik has been interfering with my business. As a result, I'm suffering from a shortage of raw materials. Kresnik always seems to take issue with whatever I do, no matter what it is. Give me a second here. Okay. I'm overheating. Because my tea's a little too warm. According to him, less fortunate demons like my customers should not be allowed to enjoy even a modicum of happiness. Modicum, sorry. I, on the other hand, think feedback my product think the feedback my product has received speaks for itself. Thanks to that, I've regained my confidence and my marriage has never been better. I feel like a real winner for the first time ever because of it. He's spooky looking. Such customer satisfaction, and yet Kresnik is trying to take away their joy. Not to mention the decline in profits hasn't exactly been convenient for me. If only I could restore the supply somehow. But now that I think about it, I'm sensing quite a power from you. I'm sure you would be able to deal with that Kresnik for me, won't you? In exchange, I'll give you some of my product free of charge. Um, I need to see Kresnik, because if he's hotter than you, you're going down. I hate to say that's kind of how I operate, except for... I really stood up for what's right when I killed Anansi for his cute dad, so. Who knows, maybe I'm changing. But you also seem sketchy and skeevy over there in the uh, into the unknown. I don't even know what over there is. It is not mapped. Kudlak, you're gonna have to wait. Kresnik often enjoys the elevated structure in front of the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building for scouting. Stain his white coat with the red of his own blood. 
you're crazy, and I bet I'm gonna take the other guy's side. I just don't like you. But he might be worse. TBD. But what I won't do is play neutral and ignore all the side quests like I did in my first playthrough. Mad Gasser was good. <laughs> hey there, buddy. You drinking up? Thanks to Big Boy Cutlack for hooking me up. The world seems so much brighter now. Cutlack, what did he give you? What's the product? Somebody's got a side quest for me in there as well. This world is fucking gigantic. Who are you? Oh! Hey! Oh, you have a girlfriend? Addis, I finally found you, so this is where you've been. Cyber. How unexpected to meet you here. I thought you didn't want to see me anymore. What the hell have you been up to around here? City. Kabukicho is a place of dreams for its visitors. I've been entertaining distinguished guests while they sojourn here. I make women happy and they give me jewels in exchange. I see. Sounds like fun. Saiba, my beloved. I wish you wouldn't make such a face. My heart is always with you. But to offer you the beauty you deserve, I must collect these jewels. Uh, whatever. I didn't come here to see you because I was worried or anything. You know my fucking name, bitch? How do you know me? My star is ra rising. It's me versus, um... God, what's her name? What's her name? The little bird girl that has the light on her head. I don't call her Beatrice. What is her name? I'm a B. It's me versus I'm a B. See, I'm heading out for a bit. Call me when you're done. You want gems? Our situation is unavoidable at present, but one day she will understand. Now then, apologies for the late introduction. I am Addis. I am a demon of some renown here in Kabukicho. As I informed her earlier, I am collecting jewels here. A beautiful demon. A beautiful demon attracts beautiful items. Judging by your appearance, I believe you'd be proficient at collecting gems. Oh! Wait a minute, he called me cute! He called me beautiful, he's not wrong. As expected of someone to her taste. What say you? Will you search for jewels for- That's gonna be a run around the area kind of thing to do. Oh god, I don't have this in me right now, I'm supposed to go see the Kadish do. <laughs> Thank you. I expected you would agree. Now for the jewels I'd like you to find. Bring me two diamonds. I think I have some. Three emeralds. Might have some. Excuse me, and three amethysts. One can never have too many jewels, but this should be sufficient for now. He's like Rouge the Bat, if Rouge the Bat was a boy. When seeking gems, you should have a demon knowledgeable in jewels in your employ. Utilizing their wisdom would make your task progress more quickly. Ah, let me give you my business card. It may come in handy when enlisting the assistance of such a demon. What? What am I doing with that? Huh? I got one... of each thing? Who does he want me to recruit? I have, I have one of you. What's your special skill? Why can't I look at my party? Okay. Pine trees rebirth. That has nothing to do with gems. I don't know who he wants me to recruit. I wish you would just tell me. Uh, there's an essence over here that I would deeply like to obtain. If I could, I bet it's up there. I promise we're doing the Kadish to death. Oh, he looks kind of peaceful though, huh? Type seven essence. Excited to get it. All right. Let's go to the Kadishu before I go explore this gigantic fucking area. 
Oh, they're in that building, aren't they? All right. Looks like a sicko building. Makes sense for them. Now, how does one get into that building? Whoever's after me, please, God, don't be after me. Like... Yippee, yippee, yippee. Now... I'm, like, really locked out of this building. They want me to drop in from this... Well, what's all this now? I think I just saw Mimon, though. That is... N you kind of give Mimon the hopping around, the red, the short. Give Mimon a little bit. No, it's looking bad over here. Fuck those guys, though, it's honestly. Hello, you're the one who killed Zutan Shur with your ass and titties. He capitulated to pleasure. So guarded at the mere sight of me. I haven't come to fight you today. God, her titties are like, no, they don't have to jiggle that much. We could make good use of your power. Won't you abandon your cruel god of law and join our side instead? Maybe. Justice, order, morality, control. <sighs> no matter how the eons change, Bethel's ways do not. They believe themselves so righteous, suppressing and exterminating those who dare to defy their precious regime. It's also wrong. Don't you think so, Nahubino? I do think it's Talk wrong. Talk all you want, but you've taken innocent lives too! That's tea as well. She clocked your tea, they as the kids say. to the god of law in body and soul. I promise you, death was a mercy for them. Hmm. Come now. I love the I way she, like, holds my chin. Seems unjust to you too. Why not join us and embrace freedom? Oh. Keep your filthy hands off him. Say oh what you God. want. There's nothing you can do to twist us to your side. Oh, be careful. <laughs> what now? I see we have unwanted guests. Nahobino. I'll see you soon. I hope I do. I don't think I'll join you, but I would like to like hear from, I think we could form an alliance. I Though not like a sworn enemies here. Like I don't think we would ever be the same team, but we could have an alliance of sorts. You know what I mean? If you're looking for the Kadishtu, she already escaped. I see. We told Archangel Mastema we'd kill them. Now there is a name I wasn't expecting. So he's the one behind this dreadful mess, is he? Hmm. Hence the pillars of salt. Repulsive as it is, it does clarify things. A shame we miss them, again. By now, I imagine they have almost all the Magatsuhi they need. So they've gone to the other side to finish the job. Certainly possible. Other side? You mean our Tokyo? Why would they go there? Uh, Magatsuhi. That's the idea. They're obsessed with gathering Magatsuhi, and they'll do whatever serves that aim. And all the Bethel freaks are gonna, like, turn the people into salt and say it's justified. If they're going to Tokyo for Magatsuhi, does that mean... That means Abdiel's gonna turn everybody into salt. ...presence within the Metropolitan Government Building. I imagine we don't have much time. If they're in Tokyo, no doubt they're busy siphoning the populace of all the Magatsuhi they need. We can't let them hurt more innocent people. Come on, we have to go back. Can I become like a third for Yakumo and like... What's her name? Nua. And I don't mean like a third like sexually, like I'm down for that too, but that's not what I'm getting at. I mean like dead ass, can I like just like be a third that roams with you? I think I agree with you guys. No, I don't, because I don't want every demon dead, like Yakumo does. Damn. Never mind. I'm really just trying to, like, <laughs> align with new people. I don't know why I'm tired of the girls I'm with. What is a man if not tired of the girl that he knows he has? You know what I'm talking about? I'm kidding. That's a joke. Please, God, don't yell at me. Um. 
All right, so we gotta go to that Metropolitan building, which is... Oh, I think I have to go to like the real Metropolitan building in like normal Tokyo though. Not in Netherworld Tokyo. Well, let me explore a bit more because there's so much ha- Ooh, yikes. Um, there's so much happening down here. And it's like multi-leveled, like marketing. Um, like, I don't know if I'm gonna see everything. Like, I want that. The mouse with the cock and the balls. How do I even get in there? Okay. How do I get up a level? Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> I fell right out. Hey, guys. How does one climb? Hmm? Bum, bum. This game's sick. Teases me, putting things right in front of me that I cannot reach. So it's over here. Move. Ooh, my god's are real. Oh, that was not a Magatsu. What's this? A Kyo sword. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so you have obtained the Kyo sword. However, that blade has no use in this timeline. Allow me to hold on to it. I shall pass it on to you in another timeline. Is that like canon of creation or something? What does that mean? What do you know? He looks at you the same way a parrot looks at you. You ever looked a parrot in the eye? It looks at you like this. It's because I think parents also transcend time and know things that we don't. I thank you. Farewell. I will ensure this is delivered to your alternate self. Alright, I'm gonna just trust him because he didn't seem nice enough. Cool, chill. Radical. Wow. How do I get up there? How do I get fucking anywhere? Man, I hate when games have lateral, not lateral, vertical shit going on. It makes me so confused, my little tiny brain. I struggle with direction enough as it is, you know? When you add up and down into the mix, it really is just... The end for my sanity. Somebody's got a side quest for us up and over here. Well, I would like to collect that side quest. Don't you fucking even think about it. And they're up in here. Oh, that's Alice! Little girl. Oh, big sis, you're- that's not Alice, is it? That's somebody else. Are you back? Huh? Who are you? I'm Sia. Huh, your name is kind of weird. I'm just gonna call you Mr., okay? That's strange, I don't remember bringing someone like you here. <laughs> Who are you? Is that Alice? It's Alice! I'm Alice, I'm looking for my big sis. I think she's hiding from me, that's why I can't find her. Isn't she so mean for leaving me alone like this? By the way, mister, are you? She's staring right at me. I knew it. You're friends with humans, aren't you, mister? Hmm, since you know humans, maybe you can find out where my big sister is. Oh, but you're not quite the same as my friends. Sorry, only special humans can come play with me. 
children. I bet it's children. Young man, we may be able to assist Alice from a distance by sinking her Magatsuhi wavelengths, by sinking your Magatsuhi wavelengths and linking with her. This demon may appear innocent enough, but I can sense an immense power within her. Depending on how we proceed, she might lend that power to us later on our journey. Oh, that's a really interesting ability you have there, mister. In that case, I'd like you to help me look for my big sis. Alice's Wonderland. We got references aplenty today in these quest titles. Thanks a lot, mister. Okay, I'll show you. Not right now! Yes. For the time being, I suggest we wait and observe. It might help us learn more about the situation. I also suspect that Alice may be hiding something. Well, we're going... Oh my god, I'm a girl in the fog. I'm a gorilla in the mist. Girl-rilla in the mist. Oh, I'm floating. Floating around at the speed of sound. Hello. Should I talk to weird... That's a human man. Alice was right. It would appear there are humans here. But why? For now, let's see what they have to say. Oh no, this is a disaster. Oh dear, I'm gonna be late for tea. <sighs> if I'm late, Alice will be so cross with me. Come on. Hey, have you seen my big sis? <laughs> Alice, no, I haven't seen her. Please, forgive me, I'm begging you. Oh, it's gonna be a whole bunch of reading. This part's kind of giving near, that part where like you're in the dream world and the people are not not speaking sensically and there's like no graphics and it just plays out like a storybook and you use your mind and it's actually really cool and then you're escaping from the castle but it's all text. I really like that part of the game actually. Um... Is someone there? Those cookies were delicious but now look at me, I'm huge. See, I'm so tall and you're so small. I can't even see you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> How sad. She thinks she's gotten bigger, but to everyone else she looks the same. Come on. Have you ever felt like that, mister? Anyway, I don't think she's seen my big sis either. Da -na 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 -na. Ooh. I like your red Lacoste sweater. One time I went out for ice cream with my friends. I actually went out for Chinese and we ate Chinese and then they said, let's walk across the street to get ice cream. I said, I'm not walking nowhere in a hundred degree heat. And th that they did and I was full of Chinese food and they said, you got room for ice cream? I said, no, one milkshake, please. And the man at the register, some hipster looking guy, he said, I like your Lacoste sweater. I said, what the? Who, who calls out a sweater by like its brand? That's crazy. But it was like a red v-neck sweater, kind of like this one, so kind of cute. Hello. Mm, who are you again? Let me see. You're supposed to be the caterpillar, right? Oh, she's playing the whole tale. I've never seen Alice in Wonderland or read any of the books, but like, you know, I'm 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 lightly briefed in the mythos. Hey, why aren't you saying anything? <gasps> Oh, Alice, forgive me. I'm in a cocoon right now. I'm sorry, but I can't talk until I hatch into a butterfly. I don't know where your big sis went. Oh, well, let's play again when you become a butterfly. It's kind of weird in here. <sighs> oh, Alice. Can we put the tea party on hold until later? I haven't thought of today's riddle yet. Oh, how did it come to this? I'm passing time trying to come up with riddles that pass time. But wait, if time has passed, does that mean I've already come up with the riddle? No. You do it to pass the time, but pa time passing doesn't indicate that it has been done. <laughs> oh, how delightful. Come on. Hello, I'm trying to find where my big sis went. Mm. I haven't seen her for some time. But hasn't she been acting a bit peculiar lately? Maybe she's got something on her mind. Big sis. I'm sorry you're having to like listen to me or read so much today. Oh shit, hello! No. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm the Cheshire Cat. You know, it sure is a lot of work to play with you. By the way, something smells off. Is someone else there? Yep, I brought a friend. 
He's helping me look for my big sis. Hmm. A new friend, huh? Must be a few mackerel short of a meal, wanting to help someone like you. But I guess that makes sense. We're all weirdos here. The same goes for you and me out too. Ooh. spooky up in here. Should I play Luigi's Mansion 2, the remake for the Switch, on my channel for October? Because many years ago, like three years ago, I did Luigi's Mansion 3 for October. Didn't finish it until a year later. And I think maybe it'd be fun, a fun thing to do, but also I'm going to be balls deep in quite a few playthroughs. Maybe it's a bad choice. Alice, don't tell me you haven't realized it for yourself. This little wonderland of yours can't go on forever. All the souls you've trapped here actually want to go home. Your big sis probably started to figure it out, too. I'm just about done playing with you myself, so I don't think I'll come here anymore. Bye! This is sad. Hmm. What an annoying cat. Huh? Everyone's acting strange. I have to go through and talk to everybody again? They're like shadows now. Alice, it's time to say goodbye. The clock had stopped for me, but it's finally starting to take again. I have to go. I've remembered that someone is waiting for me. I broke up with him over such a silly argument. I need to apologize. This will be our last tea party, but I had fun playing with well, you. See ya. Did you have fun too, Alice? I hope so. This is interesting, isn't it? Are we helping a young girl say goodbye? <sighs> Alice, I remember who I really am now. I'm not a caterpillar. I was human, and this is what remains of my soul. I moved to the city. I remember having such a promising future. But I died- Oh, see? Ooh! <gasps> Hate. Except for I don't, it's actually kind of beautiful and interesting. But I died before I could realize my potential. That's why I couldn't move on from here. The time has come for me to move on, though. I have to start my next life. See you around. Goodbye, Alice. Thank you for making me your friend. Hmm. She's like a spirit fairer. Instead of helping like lives, spirits move from life to death, she's helping them move from some sort of a purgatory back into rebirth, maybe? <sighs> my eyes have finally opened. I was trapped in an illusion where my body had grown massive. I could barely even breathe. Why in the world would you show me such a nightmare? The whole reason I was stuck here is because I didn't want to suffer the same way I did when I died. My hands are tied. I don't want to endure such pain again. If this is how it's going to be, I'd rather just pass on, so... I'll be going now. I hope I never see you again. This... is heartbreak. Wait... I always felt like I had to hurry somewhere. Now I know where I'm going. It's back to my wife and daughter. The last time I saw my little girl was that morning. She begged me to play with her. I remember patting her head as I left for work. Why didn't I stay with her? I just couldn't cast aside that feeling of regret. See you. But now it's time for me to go. She'll be so cross with me if I'm late. <gasps> Aww. <laughs> Mister, what do I do now? Everyone is gone. I see. It would seem Alice used her power to keep those departed souls in this world. They appeared to be living people, but in reality, they were simply concentrations of Magatsuhi. Perhaps their strong emotions, along with Alice's desire to make friends, ended up drawing each other together. <laughs> Alice, you've been a bad girl. You know better than to involve strangers like this. Big sis. I've been looking all over for you. Why were you hiding? Do you mind? You saw them, didn't you? Our time has come. 
But I didn't want to leave, that's why I went into hiding. You knew everything, but you still stayed? <laughs> yes. It was such a joy to be your big sister. Yes. But you've been dreaming for too long, little sister. And as your big sis, it's my duty to wake you up. That other one with you. As long as he's with you, I can go in peace. Goodbye. Farewell, Alice. <sighs> bye bye, big sis. <sighs> Yo. Okay. Aw, oh, this is no fun. All my friends are gone now. Would you like to come with me? Oh, are you gonna be my friend, mister? All my friends are dead, but this is so exciting. Nice to meet you. I can't wait to meet new people who aren't dead. Oh no, it looks like I can't go with you right now. I'll wait by the ley line found at Kubakicho and make sure- So make sure to come and pick me up. Oh, she's like a assistant. Cool. Um, sorry I didn't hear me reading little girl voices for fucking ten minutes there. That was a really interesting little side pocket of story in this game. So be it. All right, so be it. Now, where are we going? Oh, I'm supposed to be going to the real world. Not the real world, but you know. The other Tokyo. I don't know what to call it. It is the real world, but is this any less real over here? And I'm actually going to go ahead and save here and go ahead and end this video. I will see you guys next time. We will go to Tokyo, go to the whatever building they're talking about, Memorial Building, and see what's going on. Hopefully, angels are not turning people into salt. Hopefully, sexy women are not sucking souls out of men. But anything can happen. Thanks for hanging out. Sorry my face cam isn't here. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>